The first stage of working now that we've worked out our box needs to be 230 millimeters long and 80 millimeters, millimeters wide is to mark out the long piece of wood we're going to use for the sides. Okay, now the first stage, we noticed some things about our wood first. Uh, there has been a, a groove routed into the bottom. Now that groove is to allow our base to slide in when we start putting it together, like the base in this one here. Um, we're going to use that as a point of reference for when we use our tri-square on our piece of wood. So the first stage to any marking out on a piece of timber is to mark a datum line. So we don't know that the end of our wood is straight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark a line very close to the end with the tri-square to make sure that line is at 90 degrees to the side so I know that my wood will be straight. And just mark it nicely across here. And please notice that the stock of my tri-square is right up against the side of my wood. And what I'm going to need to do is to make sure that my stock is consistent, uh, consistently placed whenever I mark my other sides. So I'm going to mark around my piece of wood. I'm going to put my stock on the, on the inside face here. And I'm going to just line up my pencil, make sure the tri-square is in the right place. Line up my pencil and make sure that they line up on that corner. Then I'm going to do the same thing to this side here. Line up my pencil with the marking and then try a square line across. And you'll notice I'm putting the stock on the same inside edge, inside face, as I did when I marked that line over the other side. And then the final one, I mark the line across the outside of my box. And you'll notice again, I put the stock up against the same side I used to draw this line on the front. So I will line that up. And what I should find is if I line up here, it should also line up here, perfectly, or thereabouts. Okay, so that line should now work really evenly all the way around with no gaps. The next stage is to measure out the different lengths that we need. And we're going to measure from that line because that's now our origin, that's our, our zero line that we're going to work to, and your steel rule should go up right against the end of the roulette, should be against the line. And I'm going to measure my 230 millimetres, so I'm going to continue that 230 millimetre line from the rule up to my wood. I'm going to leave 5 millimetres for waste for my saw to go in, and then I'm going to move my steel rule upwards, make sure my zero is on that line again, and then I'm going to mark out another 230 to the other end. Once I've done that, I need to double check my measurements. If I mark across here and mark all the way around and then I find out that they're wrong, it's going to waste my time. So I'm just going to put my steel wheel up against there again and double check that that's 230 and then double check that this one here is 230 as well. I'm happy with that. I'm going to get my tri-square again and I'm going to mark these lines across. I'm going to use the same technique as before Try square right up against the same side I used to draw my other lines. Line up my pencil with my marking, and then draw it across. If you just guess and think that the, that the steel rules and uh, the markings in the right place compared to your try square, and you get it slightly out and slightly in inaccurate, what will happen is all your markings will then be incorrect, and it will get more incorrect as you go along the piece of wood, which means you'll then have to redraw it and waste more time. So it's very important that you double check what you're doing before you start committing yourself to lines. You'll also notice that I'm using a very, very softly pushed line. If I do make mistakes, I need to be easy to rub out with the rubber. Um, that way, um, it's just going to save time again. I'm going to continue drawing these lines around on the other markings, and then that piece of wood will be marked out correctly.